Hi everybody, salam, welcome to my channel. In this lesson, we are going to learn three new interrogatives, interrogative who, where, and how. And also please remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. In the previous lesson, we learned about the subject pronouns and the verb to be in Persian. And now in this lesson, we are going to learn more interrogative pronouns so we can ask questions and we can answer those questions. Main interrogative pronouns. The first interrogative, um, what, which is che or chi, has already been covered in the, in the lesson about interrogative pronouns and adjective chi. But in this lesson, we are going to learn three more um, interrogatives. We are going to go over ki, koja, and chetor. How to form interrogative sentences? We have already covered this in another lesson, but let's just go through it here again one more time. So in English, um, an interrogative sentence starts with the interrogative, then comes the verb, then the subject. But in Farsi, again, we in Farsi, we, we start from right to left. So first, we need to start with the subject. So basically, we need to say something like you who are. So the subject is to, and then ki hasti, to ki hasti. And again here, because here the subject is a pronoun, we don't necessarily need to say it. So we can also say like ki hasti. Or for the next one, where are you? So it's the same thing, it's just the interrogative changes. To koja hasti or koja hasti without the subject pronoun. Next one, how old? Uh, how are you? And uh, how is chetor? So to chetor hasti. And uh, these sentences in colloquial is we are going to start with the first one to kiasti so we drop to the subject pronoun and then the, we drop the present stem and then this um, verbal ending needs to go with the interrogative so it would be key so the contraction is key and we just need to add an aleph before the verbal ending because key ends in the letter ye for the next one, to koja hasti, it would be kojai. So again, kojai. And for the third one, uh, to chator hasti, it would be chetori. You might have heard of chetori before because it's a very common term uh, used in greeting. Let's take a look at a few examples. We are going to start with the interrogative key. First question here is, who are you? And since here we are asking a stranger a question, so it's better to use the subject pronoun, shoma. Shoma ki hastid. A little bit more informal is ki in, because we said uh, in previous lessons that the conjugation, the doll changes to nun. And then here we just need to add an aleph before the conjugation, because ki ends in a long vowel, ye. So shoma keen. And the answer is I am Sarah's big sister. So big is Bozorg and sister is Khohar. And Sarah in Farsi is pronounced Sara. Man Khohare Bozorg Sara Hastam. So remember we need to have an azafa here. One azafa, two azafa. Khohare Bozorg Sara. And also the informal is Saram. Man Khohare Bozorg Saram. Next example is who is that man? And man is Mard. An Mard Ki Hast. A little bit more informal is Un Mard Kie. The answer is he's the new boss. He's a kind man. So new is Jadid, boss is Rais, kind is Mehraban. The second one, more informal, is mehrabun. So this sentence is U raise jadid ast. Marde mehrabani ast. So here, if you are wondering what this ye, uh, what this letter ye is attached to the adjective, it uh, equals to the article e in English. So it equals to this article which um, this letter can be attached to the adjective. We have already covered this in the lesson about the nouns and genitive in Persian. 
All right, the contraction of, of Jadidas is Jadide. And then the contraction of Mehrabani Ast is Mehrabuniye. So this sentence in informal is, and we don't even need necessarily to say U. So, Raise Jadide, Marde Mehrabuniye. Another example with the interrogative key. So you get enough practice here. So now we want to ask who are they? Anha ki hastand. A little bit more informal. Anha is unha and ki hastand. Kian. We have learned in previous um, in previous lesson that this conjugation becomes a nun. And then again, we need to add an alif because of this letter. So una kian. And the answer is they are Shirin's uncles and aunts. So uncle, depending whether on mom's side or dad's side, um, the terms in Persian are different. Let's go with dad's side. Anha amu va amehaye shirin hastand. A little bit more informal. Anha becomes unha and shirin hastand, the contraction shirinan, because again, this ending becomes noon letter. We drop the present stem. So Shirinan. This sentence in informal is Unha Amu Amehoye Shirinan. Now we will be looking at the interrogative koja. First sentence, where is that boy? And boy is Pesar. On Pesar Koja hast. And on the informal is un and koja hast becomes kojast. Usually we drop the he part because koja ends in a long vowel alef. So the informal is un pesar kojast. The answer is that boy is home. So home is khane, informal is khune. An pesar khane hast. Or the informal is un pesar khunast. If you are not sure about how khane has became khunas. I have already talked about this in previous lesson, uh, but just write it in the comment section and I will answer your question. Next one is where are you now? Now is al-an or hala. Shoma al-an koja hastid. And usually in Persian, the time adverb comes after the subject. So shoma al-an. It can also come before the subject, it's fine as well, um, but it's just more common to come after the subject. And also, koja hastid, the informal is kojain. So this sentence in uh, informal is, we don't even need to pronounce shoma. Al on kojain. And the answer is, we are at the airport and the airport is busy today. Airport is furudga. We said in the previous lesson that for God, the literal translation of that is place of landing. And then busy is shuluq. And today is emruz. Ma al-an dar furudga hastim. Furudga emruz shuluq ast. The uh, contraction of furudga hastim. Furudga hastim is furudgahim. And the contraction of shulugas is shuluge. This sentence in informal is, and we are also, we said in previous lesson that we do not need to say the preposition dar, the uh, preposition at in Farsi is not very strict. So, ma al-an furudgahim, furudga emruz shuluge. Last example with the interrogative koja. We want to ask where are Sahar's guests? So guest is mehman, informal mehmun. Mehman haye Sahar koja hastand. And a little bit more informal is mehman ha becomes mehmuna. We have already explained this in the chapter about plural nouns, but if you are still not sure how mehman ha became mehmuna, just write it in the comment section. And then koja hastan, the contraction is kojan, because this conjugation here, we said in previous chapter, previous lesson, that becomes letter nun, so kojan. 
So the sentence in informal is, uh, is مهمونای سهر کجان The answer is they are in the backyard because the weather is nice. In, in at, on, in English, these three prepositions are just dar in Farsi. And then backyard is hayat because it's strong, weather is hava, and nice is hope. Anha dar hayat hastand, chon hava, hub ast, or hast. And then anha, the informal we said is unha, hayat hastand, the informal and contraction becomes hayatan. And then hub ast, the contraction is hube. So this sentence is unha dar hayatan chon hava hube. Next, we want to ask, how is your meal? Meal is qaza. Qazay shoma chetor hast. Or contraction, qazay shoma chetore. And the answer is, it's very delicious, but it's a bit salty. And here are the vocab. But before we translate the sentence, you need to know that there is no subject pronoun, pronoun for it in Persian. So here, we can either use this or that. Or we can just skip the subject pronoun because, um, again, uh, by the verb and the conjugation, it's clear what we are referring to, what is the, what the subject is. Uh, sometimes students make, uh, make the mistake and they use u for it, but u is wrong because u is only for a person. All right, so in this case, we're just going to um, skip the subject pronoun and we are going to start with very delicious. So... خیلی خوشمزه است ولی کمی شور است. Again, we also skipped the second it as well. And the contraction of خوشمزه است is خوشمزه است. And کمی شور است is شوره. This sentence in an informal is خیلی خوشمزه است ولی کمی شوره. Now we want to ask, how are you today? And today is Emrose. Or we want to ask, how are you feeling today? So both of these sentences in Persian is kind of the same. All right, we're going to go with Shoma Emrus Chetor Hastit. And also a little bit more informal. We don't even need to pronounce Shoma. So it's going to be Emrus Chetorin. One other thing that you need to know here is that we can also ask Hale Shoma Emruz Chetor Hast. Or the contraction is Chetore. Hale Shoma Emruz Chetore. So this, by adding Hal before that, and now Hal is the subject. And what does Hal mean? Hal, in general, it means state. But in this situation, in this case, it means state of well-being. So basically, like a direct translation would be, how is your state? Rather than how are you, we are asking, how is your state? So here, you need to note that when we are adding hal as the subject, then the conjugation changes. It's not hastida anymore, because the subject is not shoma anymore. Now the subject is hal, so the conjugation changes to third person singular, meaning no conjugation. So one more time, the sentence is حال شما امروز چطور هست or چطوره? And now we want to answer it. We want to say I am better, but I am still at the hospital. Better is بهتر. And then uh, but is ولی or اما still هنوز hospital بیمارستان. من بهتر هستم ولی هنوز در بیمارستان هستم. The uh, informal of بهتر هستم is بهترم. And then بیمارستان هستم بیمارستانم. And we said in the informal language we don't need to pronounce the preposition at. So this in, in sentence in informal is I'm not going to pronounce man also. Behtaram vali hanus bimarestanam.
Next, we want to ask, how is Omid dog? Dog is sack. And here we want to use hall. So literally, we want to ask something like, how is the state of Omid's dog? I know it's a little bit, I know it sounds uh, strange in English, but in Farsi, again, it's very, very common to use the word hall. So, hale sage omid chetorast. And remember here, we need to have an ezafe hale because the state of, and then sage omid, the second ezafe is for the possessive s. And the contraction is chetore. So, hale sage omid chetore. And then the answer is, he is not bad. Today he is much better. So bad is just bad. Today and Ruz, much, خیلی, and better, better. او bad نیست. امروز خیلی better است. Or بهتره. Which this sentence in informal is, او bad نیست. Remember, no contraction when the verb is in negative. So one more time. او بد نیست. امروز خیلی بهتره. Stay tuned for the next lesson. We are going to learn the verb to have, which in Farsi is called داشتن. We reached the end of this lesson. I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful. If so, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video. Also, if you have any questions or if you have any comment or feedback, please leave it in the comment section. That would really um, be that would really help me a lot. And also, your support is greatly appreciated here. See you in another lesson. Hoda Hafez.